Hi, friends. Welcome to Annie's Mini BFF Podcast. I'm your host and friend, Annie F. Downs, and I'm so excited to be with you all for a couple of minutes today, share a little story from one of my favorite books, the Bible. This season of the podcast, we are reading from the part of the Bible called the Gospels. The Gospels are the first four books of the New Testament in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They tell us all about Jesus' life when He was on earth, His friendships, stories that Jesus told called parables, sacrifices Jesus made so we can be free, and meals that Jesus shared, and of course, the miracles He performed for so many. Thanks to our friends at Zonder Kids. Today, we'll be reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible. And for those of you who have a copy too, our story begins on page 318. We know that Jesus came back to the disciples to show them that He is alive. Remember episode 64 where they all ate together. But the disciples always knew that He would have to go back to heaven to be with God. Jesus had told the disciples that He was getting a place ready for them, and they knew the way to get there. In our story today, we're going to read all about Jesus reminding the disciples how to find their way to Him and teaching us to do the same. So are you ready to get started with our story? Me too. This one is called Going Home. Here we go. Jesus' friends were afraid, so they were hiding in an upstairs room with the door bolted shut. But that didn't stop Jesus. He just walked straight through the wall. It's a ghost, Thomas screamed and hid under the table. But it wasn't a ghost. I'm hungry, Jesus said. What's for lunch? Peter gave him a fish. They all hung back and watched him eat it. This can't be, they were telling themselves. It's impossible. It's not happening. But it was right in front of them. Delicious, Jesus wiped his mouth with the back of his hand and grinned. Can a ghost do that? He winked. And then they all laughed. I'm really here, Jesus said, and he really was. Peter's heart leaped with joy and he fell into Jesus' arms, hugging and kissing him. The others followed. They felt their hearts would burst from the happiness. The friends ate together and chatted happily. And every now and then they'd just gaze at Jesus and have to touch him to be sure they weren't dreaming. Jesus had a real body, but this body was better. It had come through death and couldn't get sick or be killed again. This body would live forever. Jesus had come back with a brand new body. Not only were sad things coming untrue, the friends realized they were becoming new again. Was God going to make everything new? Jesus said, I am the Savior and the rescuer of the world. And they knew because He couldn't stay dead, because Jesus had come alive again, that somehow everything would be all right. A few days later, as they walked together, Jesus told his friends, it's time for me to go home to my father. They all looked worried. And then they remembered what Jesus had told them before he died. There's a place for you. I'll get it ready, Jesus had said. You know the way. Thomas had panicked. I don't know the way to get there. Yes, you do, Jesus had said. I am the way and the truth and the life. When at last they reached the top of the highest hill near Jerusalem, Jesus turned to them and said, Go everywhere and tell everyone the happy news. Tell them I love them so much that I died for them. It's the truth that overcomes the terrible lie. God loves his children. Yes, he really does. Suddenly the whole sky was filled with a dazzling light. Now everyone can come home to God, Jesus said. Death is not the end of you. You can live forever with your Father in heaven because I have rescued the whole world. And something amazing happened. Jesus rose up into the bright air, higher and higher. They shaded their eyes and watched him go until a cloud hid Jesus so they couldn't see him anymore. They stood looking up into the sky like that for a long time. Suddenly, two shining men appeared. What are you doing? They asked. Jesus has gone up to heaven, but one day he will come back in the same way you saw him leave from heaven and from the sky. Jesus' friends went back to Jerusalem with a strange gladness inside their hearts. And something Jesus said that stuck in their minds, Even though you won't be able to see me anymore, I will never leave you. No, not ever. I will be with you, yes, always and forever. How can Jesus be with us and leave us at the same time, they wondered. They didn't understand, no, but soon they would. Let's pray together, friends. Dear God, we want to have Jesus in our hearts and let him lead us to you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Many BFFs, you know the way to where Jesus is too. Once again, Jesus is telling us to go and share the good news about how much God loves you. So guess what you get to do? You get to tell 
everyone about Jesus. Think about all that you have learned this season about him. We know he walked on water. He fed 5,000 people. He healed a little girl who had died. He helped a blind man see and another man walk. We know that Jesus can calm a storm and become a friend to those who break the rules. And we know that Jesus loves kids, and that is you, many BFFs. You are never too small or too young to tell someone you know about Jesus. So for today's drawing, I would love for you to draw me a picture of Jesus. I cannot wait to see how you draw Him for us. Remember on ChopAnnieFDowns.com, there's a journey through the Gospels guidebook that you can download. It's packed with lots of activities from this season, including a page for you to color the drawing for each episode, including today's. So if you draw it on that or just your own piece of paper, I want to see it. We want to see your drawings of Jesus. So get your grown up to post it and tag mini BFF club on Instagram. The story we read today comes from a whole book of Bible stories called the Jesus Storybook Bible. We've teamed up with Zonder Kids and are reading from three different storybook Bibles, the Tiny Truths Illustrated Bible, the Jesus Storybook Bible, and the I Wonder Bible. To grab your own copy of these books, just go to faithgateway.com and use the code AD20 for an extra 20% off. And that, my friends, is a wrap on season four of Annie's mini BFF podcast. It has been so much fun getting to share the gospels with you this season. I hope that your love for Jesus only continues to grow the more you learn about him. I know mine does. And don't worry, mini BFFs, we will be back with a whole new season this fall. So y'all go and have a great, and we'll be back with new stories you've never heard on the mini BFF podcast before. Mini BFFs, thanks so much for spending time with us today and all season long. I'm always so happy to have you here with us. Remember, be kind to your grownups, your teachers, and your friends. And I'll see you in the fall for season five of Annie's Mini BFF podcast. And hey, grownups, if you want to dive deeper into today's story from the Jesus Storybook Bible, you can read about it in Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, and John 14 in the Bible. Bye, Mini BFFs. Love you, mean it.